What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video I want to show you a really cool and powerful build you can make using one of the brand new mods from Season of the Arrivals. This mod is called Energy Converter. Now to get this you can buy it right from the Prismatic Recaster but you do need to be Umble Research 16. So make sure that you're leveling up your Gifts of Light and Dark and make sure that you're getting the weekly bounties on every character to give you the twisted energy you need to increase your overall research ranking. Now once you get level 16 that will enable you to buy the energy converter and this mod is the crux of our build but there are other mods we want to use too more on that in just a moment if you read this for the mod it says while charged with light using your grenade attack grants you super energy consuming all stacks of charge with light the more stacks you have the more energy you gain up to a maximum of 50 percent of your super energy so i want to make sure that we understand this fully and to do that we'll go to the tribute hall to see exactly how this works because there are some subtle nuances with it. Now, if this video is helpful guys, hit the like button. I would be appreciative of that. Even better, if you're new to this channel guys, subscribe, come back for more videos and live streams. It would make me happy if you did that. So let's make our way to the tribute hall. We're gonna see exactly how this mod works and then we'll explore how you can use some different builds and weapons and other mods to make the most use of this new mod here from Season of the Arrival. So over to the tribute hall we go and let's put this into practice. Okay, so here we are, we're in the Tribute Hall, and we want to find out how good this new mod is. Energy Converter is a Void Armor mod, so keep that in mind. This has to be on a Void Armor piece, and it does cost you 4 energy, so it's pretty expensive, but for good reason, because this will give you up to half your super back. Now, that relates to how many Charge of Light you have. To get the most back, you want to be Charge of Light times 5. More on that in just a second. A key distinction here though is it'll give you back half your super but only the first half it won't give you back the second half and honestly if you think about it that makes sense because if you combine this with something like Orpheus Riggs or the Skull of Dyer Ahamakara then you could have pretty much supers over and over and over again it just gave you back the second half as it stands though it'll only give you back the first half of your super otherwise it'd be too OP so let's take a look at that. I want to show, I want to make sure that people realize that that will not give you back super energy. So we're going to go ahead here. I'm going to use my Nova Bomb. If I use my grenade right now, I would get back close to half my super. But I want to demonstrate that one mechanic. So I'm going to go back here to this Shard of the Traveler. I'm going to get some of these pieces here. And I want to charge my super up just past halfway. So you notice here I'm just past the halfway mark. If I use my grenade right now, it will not consume that charge of light. So I want to demonstrate this because it's a very important takeaway from this video, I think. Now, if I were to go ahead and get some more super energy, I will launch another Nova Bomb off into the abyss. When I use my, my grenade next, I will get super energy, but I have to wait for my grenade to come back. So the important part about this is it will only give you back the first half of your super, not the second half. And I believe as well that the maximum of 50%, yes, it's tied to having charge light times 5. And to do that, you need to have charged up, which is an older armor mod, as well as supercharged. That will give you two additional stacks of light from supercharged and one additional stack here from charged up. That is the only way to get to times five. So you want to pair charged up and supercharged with the energy converter. And I believe as well that part of it relates back to either how high your discipline is or how high your intellect is. I think to get the maximum of 50%, you need charge of light times five, and you need these two stats, both of these, to be as high as you can. That's going to give you back, I think, the maximum. But I need further testing to confirm that. So if I look back here, my grenade is full. Just to demonstrate really quickly, if I get my super all the way up, I'm going to throw an Nova Bomb off, and I'm going to use my grenade right away. And then you'll see how much super energy it gives me back. So here we go. Nova Bomb away. My super is at 0%. I throw my grenade. It consumes all five stacks, and it gave me not quite 50%. That's why I think part of it is tied to your intellect or your discipline. It gave me back not quite half, but nearly halfway. So... You can see here that this mod is going to be very, very powerful, especially in PvE activities. Not so much in PvP, but especially in PvE. So let's take a look here. At this point, then, it becomes how fast can you get back that last 50%. 
And right now I have some different weapons here we're going to look at. I want to make my way now over to the Whisper mission, and we want to see how we can get that last 50% back and pretty much be a walking super anytime you're doing strikes or gambit or what have you. Again, this is more so from PvE, because getting Charger Light in PvP is a bit more difficult. So, let's make our way to the Whisper. We want to put some things into practice, and then we want to complete our build so that we can be throwing Nova Bombs left and right when we're running strikes. Let's make our way to the Whisper and see how we can do it. The iconic Whisper of the Worm mission is where we are now, and this is where we're going to have a testing grounds for our infinite super build. Now, again, the crux of this is going to be the energy converter combined with charged up and supercharged to get charge of light times five. But what weapons should you use? I'm going to be using the bad juju. This is a pulse rifle from the Season of Opulence, and I have the catalyst version. You don't need that, but that would help uh, quite a bit. Having String of Curses is going to give me a lot of super energy. And honestly, this is going to be a great way of filling up your final 50%. Because really, that's what it boils down to. How fast can you build up that last 50%? And while making sure that you have a grenade ready to use once you use your super. I'm going to be using as well the Fallen Guillotine. This is a season pass item from this current season. And a very powerful sword in its own right. This is a great weapon to use. And I want to make sure too that I'm combining my other mods here to match my primary weapon and my heavy weapon. So for that reason, I have the Bleeding Edge. The bonus to this is gonna be bonus super energy from sword kills. And I have the Swift Charge. This is gonna be very important because getting Charge of Light in the first place is gonna be something I need to do. And I'm using bad juju anyway. So getting rapid kills of pulse rifles will make me become Charge of Light. I'll be able to get Charge of Light really fast by using the Swift Charge. So I have Swift Charge for bad juju. I have Bleeding Edge for the Fallen Guillotine. Obviously, we have Supercharged, Energy Converter, and we have Charged Up. At that point, then, to perfect your build, you want to have high discipline and high intellect. And this is something I can obviously work on, whether it be by masterworking my armor pieces or perhaps by getting armor pieces that focus primarily on discipline and intellect. But the best build for this is going to be something very close to 100-100 because you want to have a grenade come back really fast and you want to have your super filling up really fast to get that last half of your super bar maxed out. So here we go. I'm using the bottom tree for the Void Walker. This is the way, this way I can use the Devour perk, and that will help me get back that last bit of my grenade a little bit faster. So here we are. We're in the Whisper mission. We'll go ahead and we're going to throw off our Nova Bomb into space. We're going to drop down here. If I throw my grenade right now, it gave me back almost half my super. And then it becomes, how fast can I get the next piece? And we're going to be using Bad Juju, our Sword, and the Devour perk. So now we have Devour. If I get some kills here, it's filling up my grenade really fast, which is what I need. And then I can go ahead and focus on getting that last bit of my super. Bad Juju is really good. And honestly, with the buff to Pulse Rifles, it's even better now. So this build, I think, is more well-rounded. This weapon may not have been that great to use in PvE. But as it stands right now, I think it's pretty awesome. So there we go. We threw our grenade, or threw our super, tossed a grenade, and we got a nice bit of our super back right away. So now we just have to pretty much get our super back filled back up. I can go ahead and get some sword kills if I want. Bleeding edge is nice to have for sure. And it looks like we have our grenade back already. Making sure we have our grenade for after we use our super is important because you want to be filling that up really fast. Charge your light. Got to make sure we're at we're at times five. We're at times three right now. Just got to get some more kills here pretty quick. We're at times... Looks like we're at times five now. We can throw our Nova Bomb again. Launch our grenade into nothing. Because, again, the cool part about it is just using, your grenade, using the grenade is what triggers that energy converter. And we're already well above 50% here. And I'm not even doing the best job, actually, of, of maximizing this. You guys are better players than I am, but I wanted to demonstrate how good this could be. Charge of light times four, and now we're at times five. Super's back. Launch another one. Throw a grenade. And we are just pretty much chaining supers over and over again. To me, this is... This is more so a let's have fun with the type build. You know, if you want to if you want to just power through strikes and and feel really powerful, you can be using your blade barrage left and right. You could be throwing nova bombs like I am right now. This to me is going to be 
a fun way to play this game. Uh, more so, of course, obviously, playing in PvE. I, I think with, with Crucible, it's not quite as easy to do this, because it's more difficult to become Charger Light. But I find this to be a really, really fun thing to do. I mean, pretty much we had a super there every 30, 45 seconds or so. That is pretty insane. I think this is a fun build, and I wanted to showcase this to you guys. Like I said, if this video was at all helpful or, or entertaining, guys, hit the like button. It does make a difference with the YouTube algorithm. And even more, if you guys are not subscribed, I hope you'd want to and want to come back for more videos and live streams. I love you guys. I appreciate all the support, and best of luck with your infinite super build. See you guys.